Hi, and thanks for visiting ArkeshaLewisGraphics.com. You know, if you buy any of the bundled airbrush files, they come as a um, grouped set JPEG image set. So, if you want to use them individually, you will need to do some slicing. This Saving them this way and loading them helps me do this a lot faster. And also, if you're working on multiple... Um, shirts or in, um products that you need to print um multiple of these images and not just the same one this helps you as well because you can just pull one image into Cricut or Silhouette or wherever you're working at instead of having to do multiple image pulls so if you are in Cricut then you or Silhouette you know you can grab a shape well I don't know the particular setup for silhouette but for Cricut you can grab a square shape and make sure you cover the whole image you want to use and make sure to not come up and touch one of these other images don't get too close and don't have it right here on the image you want to get either you want to be a little above that image because there's um, a little image file there so you don't want to do any cutting of your image file so you put the um, shape over the one you want to use and then you just come over to hit slice make sure you select both of them and hit slice then you can set that out the way cut that off delete that delete that and now you have your image now to get this image to the size you need in here you're going to do the same thing with these um, with the square you're going to get right up just beyond the image file and slice you're going to do that all the way around slice Now that's about good. Now, if you want to, whatever you're working on for whatever size you need, this is the image you'll size because it's closer to the size of the uh, main image. So if you're working on a, if you're doing print and cut in here, you know you can only do 6.75. So you have to size it up to, for the width, 6.75. Unless you turn it. And then you can do the height 9.25 and you see in here the bigger it got the the less um, the image quality is and that that doesn't work with all the files but some files in Cricut you get that because um, for airbrush files it does not read the gradients well the soft the softness if and the softness of the file it does not read that well because Cricut this um, design space is not a true graphic editor so it does not have all the capabilities that Photoshop would or any other true graphic editor it does not have all those cap capabilities for reading these types of files graphic files so if you run into that issue you can um, you can open this in an, a different type of file altogether now there's affinity there's canva there's um, gimp there, there's all kinds of um, true editor file I mean um, programs that you could use but the one I like to use is pixlr and you can go to pixlr.com to use that it is free just go right to pixelr.com. They're, they're changing stuff, and I've just recently started um, learning this program as well, just to help my um, help people in my jury group. 
to learn a few things in design so I use it for I use it this pixel for multiple uses I design everything in Photoshop but I like to use this tool because it's free so you could open it in here I have videos showing you how to open it and how to navigate um, pixel or so just look on my YouTube or if you're on my website there's how to videos on my website as well there's a page just for videos so if you bought one of the graphics again they're grouped together if you run into issues in Cricut then you can print from here you can very well print from this program you can grab the marquee tool in this program and you can get right next to the image you want to use and make sure it is selected just beyond everything and if you get if you feel like you get a little too close then just grab the tool again and start where you left off and drag it over that image and then you can hit edit copy edit paste cut that off and now you have your image now in here this program uses um, for the units of measurement they use pixels not inches so if you want to print from here you'll need to know the size that you want to print you need to go online and get you a pixel converter online pixel converter and just put that size say if you want to do um, a nine inch graphic then you put nine inch in the converter and it'll tell you what that is in pixels and then you just print and see this one handles the the gradients well no matter how much you size it because it is an editor it is a true editor so that's how you use these guys and um, you could very well go ahead and cut everything you need and save each individual if that's what you wanted to do but what you don't have to do that you can just come in and open the one file and cut what you need and use that as use it as you go just makes it simpler I hope this helps thank you for visiting my channel my um, website and if you haven't already subscribe share like conversate if you want to if you're interested in making earrings or jewelry with these types of graphics and and others then look look um, my group up on Facebook ear art designers Thanks, guys.